you're working on writing a research article or review article or even a research paper for a class, you may be interested to know on how AI could help you write faster. In this video, I'm going to share with you four different AI research writers that are meant to help you be able to express your thoughts better and be able to avoid writer's block instead of simply writing a paper for you. I think this is really important whenever you're writing for research as you are the researcher and you're going to know your research best. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through these four different AI research writers so that you can know which one might fit your style best. The first one is SciSpace, and SciSpace is actually a tool of a lot of different AI research tools, and I've had a lot of videos on this channel talking about SciSpace. SciSpace recently has introduced their AI writer, and so if you go into the AI writer, you can go ahead and click Start Writing, and this will open up a new document for you to be able to start writing. You can give it a title, let's say I'm doing something like Steroids Analysis by Ion Mobility, and then you can start writing. Now you have the ability to format in different ways, the ability to select different types of text, be able to format that text, add in links, and even add in code. You have the ability to write list and numbered list and align in different ways. What it will do is it'll automatically start giving suggestions. If I go into tools, I can go to autocomplete and turn this off with any of these that automatically autocomplete. I would go in and actually turn autocomplete off. If you're writing and you're constantly having AI tell you what it might be able to write next, that's going to be really easy for you to lose your voice and lose what you're trying to say. And if you ever see AI autocomplete over and over and over again, it tends to start talking in circles and you really want to know your outline and your plan moving forward. And if you're interested in that, I recommend getting my scientific research paper checklist. It helps you develop that outline before you ever go into something like SciSpace to actually be able to write your article in the way that you want to write instead of having something like AI write it for you. I can always have AI start to complete this. So if I press forward slash, I can ask AI to write anything. I can also use some built-in commands. So write an introduction, write a conclusion, write an opposing argument, or even the outline builder. So if I say write an outline for steroid analysis by Ion Mobility. Now what we can see with this is honestly I don't really like this as an outline and this is why I always kind of suggest to you to have your outline before you ever get AI involved so that you really know what you're trying to write. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this and the reason I don't like it is because it's kind of picking random topics to bring in and doesn't have a nice logical flow to a story. And I'm going to go ahead and actually write a first sentence and you can see this is showing as a heading too. So I want to go ahead and turn it to into a paragraph. So I'm writing an introduction sen a sentence, which is steroids are an important biomolecular class due to their role in cellular signaling and biomarkers as disease. Now I can hit that slash and say, continue writing with citations. And it gives me this fairly long, I'm gonna go ahead and accept it, this fairly in-depth talking about as the complexity of steroid structures increases, so does the challenge of accurately analyzing them. It gives me some of these from my library, so it has no data attached to it. So these are articles that I've already uploaded into SciSpace. And it goes straight from kind of introduction into summary of previous things. And so this isn't exactly how I would write it, but if I was really struggling with what my next sentence could be, this could be helpful to say this would probably be something similar to my next sentence is why are steroids difficult to analyze would be what would be similar. The final thing I want to show you is the ability to cite. So I can at any point type to search so I could say steroids and I can look for SciSpace papers and so these are different papers that show up on SciSpace and let's say we're going to do steroid isomers and so we can see there's these different ones and we can go ahead and click cite and that's going to add this in. Now I kind of let that be in the middle of something. So I'm going to remove it from there. And let's say I want to remove this one and I'm going to cite right here. So make sure your cursor is in the right space. You can actually do an at symbol and we're going to do steroids ion mobility or steroid isomer again. And then I'm going to do size space papers and I can cite that specific one again. And now that lets me cite this within here. And so you can see that within SciSpace's AI Writer, it helps you to kind of overcome writer's block by completing actions. You can also highlight and have it rephrase. So if I come up here, 
I can use the AI writer and I can increase the fluency, paraphrase, simplify, make longer, and then I can also generate more from that selection. And so these are the different features that are available within SciSpace's AI writer. The next AI writer we're going to look at is Jenny AI. And so with Jenny AI, I've created a new document. Now within Jenny AI, I can come up to the settings and I can turn off autocomplete again. So this next allows me to be able to write this without it constantly auto-completing. Now down here I can change the different text into headings, numbered list, code block, or insert a table, and then I can always undo or redo and cite down here as well. Now if I do the same thing I did before, I'm going to take the same sentence and I'm going to paste it in here. I can hit control forward slash and it's going to auto-complete. So this time it only gave me one sentence at a time. It says comprehensive and precise Profiling of free and conjugated steroid species is crucial for understanding the etiology and treatment of chronic disorders associated with impaired steroid metabolism. And then I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And you can see it automatically brought in that reference. And that reference is now shown down here underneath my references. So with this, you can see that the way that it is writing is very, very academic and formal. If I come up here, I can change my citation style here to APA, Chicago, Harvard, IEE, MLA, and then additional styles are available there as well. And I can change where it is auto citing from. So auto citing from external sources and auto citing from the library as well. Both of those are turned on. This is going to give a shorter autocomplete than SciSpace did, but it's also kind of nice because it allows you to kind of go sentence by sentence and only really use sentences when you're getting stuck with writer's block. Now, let's say I wanted to highlight this and I'm going to use AI commands and say improve the fluency of this. So you see it says steroids constitute an important biomolecular class owing to their pivotal roles in cellular signaling and as biomarkers for disease. And now I can insert this below if I want to workshop this sentence to sound more like this sentence. Again, I think Jenny AI's overall demeanor in the way that they are writing is very academic compared to the way I wrote it was a little bit more casual and that's how I tend to write even my academic papers is to be just a little bit more casual. So it depends on which type of flow that you really like writing in. Now I can also always cite this. So if I highlight it, I can come up and add a citation and it's going to search in my library. It, you can use discovery and then you can also use all. So this will show both what's in your library and what it found through searching the web. One thing I have seen is that whenever you're using discovery, it will sometimes find multiple of the same article, which could sometimes end up causing it to cite a single reference multiple times. So just be aware of that. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and click this one to cite. This is my own paper and I know it well. And you can see oddly, this is actually citing it incorrectly. And so I might need to edit this. So you can see it's including that middle initial in the family name. So I would need to edit this to be able to get it to cite it correctly. The nice thing about this is you can also switch it to the narrative style as well. So if I switch to narrative, it's going to report it like it would if I was writing directly, but this is also slightly inaccurate. That comma shouldn't be there. And if I switch it back to parenthetical, it sets it up correctly in there and it automatically adds it to my references. The last thing I can do is I can export as a latex doc, a Word document, an HTML, or I can just copy it to clipboard and paste it into what I desire to use it as. Another feature that Jenny AI has is the ability to AI chat. So if you want to be able to chat directly, I can open a new chat and I can ask it questions. I can mention papers in it to figure out what might be the best thing to say or the best thing to cite in different parts of my article. So that is a feature that is available, but I don't want to go super in depth in that as it's not available for all of the different AI writers that I'm talking about today. The next AI writer is Yomu AI. With this, you do have the different options for the different types of text, like I've shown before. You have the ability to format the text, including block text. And here you also have the ability to add tables and figures in. And with figures, you can also add captions to those figures. 
This is the only one that I have found that allows you to actually include latex equations in. So if you click this button up here, you can actually write in latex if you work with that directly in here. Yomu AI also has a lot of document AI features. So you can write the introduction, write the conclusion, you can get feedback, which is kind of unique to Yomu AI, and you can write an abstract and write a summary. So this will work on everything included within this document here. If you come up to the settings, you also have the ability to turn off autocomplete. You can select your citation style and you can even change the model that you want to work with. So there's four more basic AI models and then two ultra AI models that you can work with and you can kind of determine which AI model works the best for you. So I'm going to paste in that same sentence I've been working with. And then I'm going to have it, and then I can press shift tab to have it autocomplete. And so this says their detection and quantification and biologic matrices are of great interest to the pharmaceutical and clinical sectors. So this one stayed much more on task with the original one and steroids are important by a molecular class. This is now moving us more into the analysis of steroids instead. This one also didn't directly bring in a citation while generating the text. I can also come up here and and use AI, I can ask Yomu AI, which is that where I can ask it to do anything. I can also say paraphrase, shorten, fix fluency. So let's run that on this one as well. And so this says steroids are an important biomolecular class due to their role in cellular, cellular signaling and their use as biomarkers for disease. I kept it really similar to my previous one. So I can say keep selection and I can say next selection and then I can say discard. So let's do next suggestion. So steroids are an important biomolecular class due to their roles in cellular signaling and their function as biomarkers for disease. So that's just slightly changing it versus Jenny AI's really drastically changed it into much more of an academic statement. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and discard and keep my original one in here. Now with this, I can also use the get feedback. So this will run it in the background and then allow me to see it once it's already generated here. Now I don't have much in this article. So the feedback probably isn't going to be really dramatic. It shows me three strengths and a few areas of improvement. Obviously there's a lot more areas of improvement because again, like there's no mention of specific games or research questions. It lacks a clear explanation for eye mobility. So this can actually be really helpful if you're working on writing and you're like, what am I missing? This is actually a really good list for what you could be missing in your articles. Now Yomu AI also has the ability to cite. Now Yomu AI also has the ability to cite. So if I highlight any text, I can click the cite and it brings up this right panel here. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my cursor just so to allow it to go into the right place. And so you can see it brings up a lot of different ones and this is actually powered by Sourcely. You can see that here. If you are just interested in having AI help you find sources, I will leave a link in the description below that introduces you to Sourcely if you're just interested in that one feature. And so with this, we can add any of the ones that we want in. It brings in the snippet of what was actually included in the text that it's pulling as something that might be good for this sentence. So we can look at this and read it and then we can go ahead and cite it. And so you see it adds the citation in here and it automatically adds the reference down here. And I can add another citation in. And if I wanted to use this in a narrative way as well, I can always change it to narrative. This is showing up correctly or switch it back to inline. And so all of those are still available. You also have filters to cite. So you can do the year, the citations, included keywords, excluded keywords and document types. So you may want to cite specifically review articles in some places versus research articles in other cases. And you can sort by relevancy, year, citations, and title. You can also add in a custom citation. And so this will allow you, you can add in the bib text here, or you can add in a DOI or directly add the information in for that. To download your document after you're done writing it, you can click in here and you can download it as a latex, an MS Word document, or an HTML document. So overall, I think Yomu AI is really good if you are interested in getting citations specifically by Sourcely, or if you are interested in these higher formatting capabilities, the ability to write in latex, the ability to add in images and tables. Those aren't really available in a lot of these other AI writers. The ability to get feedback on your writing 
thing is another unique feature of Yomu. The final AI research writer I want to introduce you to is PaperPal. And PaperPal is a little bit different. It doesn't have the same mechanisms that are typically used by SciSpace, Jenny AI, and Yomu AI. And PaperPal, I would say, is more for people who want to work on grammar, fluency. Its editing features, I think, is what really makes it stand out compared to the writing features are not as easy to use as the other options. I'm going to go ahead and paste in this sentence that we've been working with. Now what it's going to do is it's going to, in its edit, go ahead and find edits that should be made to this. You can see preposition usage and noun number are things that it's saying, hey, we should already fix this. I can also look for consistency. So again, this is why I'm saying PaperPal is really good for the editing compo component. Now it does have the ability to do some AI writing as well. So if I am writing this, you can see I can click this button right here and I can just tell it to keep writing, which is essentially what the other options are doing. And I'm going to go ahead and accept to look at what this did. So this said these biologically active compounds are derived from cholesterol, include hormones. So this is explaining what they are, their diverse functions, and then steroid metabolism and signaling pathways. So this is probably where I would go. I tend to go from talking about steroids, the importance of steroids into what steroids are. And again, it's adding more choices of how we could change this to make it sound a little bit better there. Now, this also gave me three sentences versus Jenny AI and Yomu AI only gave me kind of the one next sentence. This is more like SciSpace and it's going to give me a lot more information there. Now, if I go into write, this is also how I can do that is I tell PaperPal what to write and when I'm not in write, it'll show up in my document here where I can always use it within that. I can also have it rewrite so I can paraphrase, trim, make it sound academic or find synonyms. I highlight over my thing, I can click this button to make it sound in different ways. And so I'm going to tell PaperPal what to write and I'm going to say increase the fluency. So it says steroids represent a crucial class of biomolecules due to their significant roles in cellular signaling and has valuable biomarkers for various disease. I like this actually a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and insert. It actually inserts the top part too. So that's kind of a negative. It doesn't just replace the information. So you kind of have to do a little bit more editing. It might be easier just to copy this and paste it in where you would want it to be. Now, a few additional features outside of this is it does have the ability to do research in sight. So you can ask a question to find literature. So if I said steroid cellular signaling pathways, so it gives me a result and tells me information about it. And then it gives me some of the different articles that it's citing in that. So if I wanted to be able to cite, I can click cite here and it confirms the citation style. I can change that and I can click insert citation. And so my citation comes in here and then for the references you do have to get the paid version of PaperPal to be able to get the bibliography out. So it does have that capability to cite. It also has ability to translate which is unique to PaperPal. It has templates that you can use and I'll include a video in the description below of how I used a template to write a cover letter. Basically you input your information and then it uses AI to help you generate an actual article or cover letter that you're interested in. You can also do checks. So you can do a journal submission check and AI review. So this is similar to Yomu AI's feedback feature. You can also do a manuscript formatting check as well. And they've just recently added a chat with PDF. So if you upload your PDFs, just like with Ginny AI, you can actually chat with them while you write. I hope this gives you a really good insight into these four different AI research writers and which one might actually make the most sense for you based off of what you feel like you need the most help with and how you like to write your research articles. If you are struggling to write your research articles or developing the format for those articles, check out my scientific research paper checklist. I will leave a link in the description below. It is completely free to download a PDF that walks you step by step through how to write your research articles.